Hi everyone, this is Manisha and welcome back to Stheta. Today I am so excited about the topic that we are going to talk about because everybody, men and women have so many misconceptions about this topic and women are triggered when they listen to this word and men have no idea what exactly it means to submit to them. Yes, so today we are going to talk about the most controversial topic out there what exactly it means to submit to a man. I have heard so many questions from women. Why do we even have to submit? Why submission is only done by women? Isn't it unsafe to submit to a man? Isn't it so hard to trust somebody in that way? All of your questions are valid. Hold on to your questions. I am going to answer all of your questions in this video. So stick around. <laughs> Before we start, let me give you the pointers what exactly we are going to talk about in this video. Number one, the misconceptions about submission. Number two, what is a submission by a woman? Number three, what is the role of forgiveness in submission? Number four, what is a submission by man? And number five, my personal experience, how the concept of submission have simplified my dating life. All right, so the general misconception that I have heard among women, the moment a woman hear a word submission to a man, she immediately thinks that she needs to be his slave and he will be ordering her around and asking her to do whatever he wants. <coughs> Wrong. And men also think in the same way. The moment a woman submits to them, she will do anything without any questions and without any boundaries. So let's dive into what is exactly submission by a woman to a man. When a woman submits to a man, she trusts his decisions, follow his lead, respect his needs and desires. Now, as a woman, you tell me how difficult it is to trust somebody like that. A lot, right? When he takes wrong decisions, when he is not leading you properly, when his needs and desires are very unnecessary and the kind of needs and desires that can actually harm you, especially sexually. You tell me how difficult it is to submit to a man. What is that key factor that drives the entire submission concept? Trust. And trust is earned, respect is earned, it's not given. So basically, submission starts from a man earning a woman's trust. The moment a man is successful in earning a woman's trust, she will be able to easily submit to that man. The scenario that I have seen majorly in today's time, that if a man is not leading properly, the woman stands up and starts leading. No, no, no. I want you to back off. I want you to sit and observe if he's leading properly. If he's not, you back off. It's not your job to lead. Okay, you are not going to be happy in that kind of relationship. Let me put it in simple words. It's man's job to earn a woman's trust, then it's woman's choice to submit to that man. So basically, when the submission is manipulated by the man, when the submission is pressured, when the submission is affected by society, when the submission is not basically earned by a man, that is actually not submission. When a woman submits like that, that is the woman basically living in fear. And when the submission is done right to the right man, it makes a woman fearless. It doesn't create fear. Now, as a woman, you tell me, when a man is leading you, do you think he's going to be successful in leading all the time? No, right? He's a human being. He's going to make mistakes. So if you are a woman who's coming from your past traumas, your past have been very traumatic and you haven't healed yet, it will be very difficult for you to trust in a man. I'm not talking about the basic level of trust that you can sit next to somebody or talk to somebody. It will be very, very difficult for you to deeply trust a man in terms of submission because you have never seen a man who has taken the decisions right for your life. You have never seen a man who was leading the family successfully. You have never seen a man who had reasonable needs and desires. So basically, if you have never seen a healthy masculine man in your life, it will be very difficult for you to trust in a man. So what you need to do, first of all, in order to submit to a man, heal. That is your first job. You need to take therapies, meditation, heal your past traumas, heal your inner child. Doesn't matter if you come from a very traumatic past. Eventually, you are a woman and your inner woman wants to submit to the man, wants to take off that pressure to do everything in life and stuff like that, okay? You want to do that, but at the same time, it is very difficult for you to do that. So your pendulum of life in terms of a relationship, it goes like 
I want it but I can't. I want it but I can't. <laughs> okay. So if you want to stop this dance of relationship in your life, then I would recommend please heal. It will be very easier for you to operate in relationships. The moment you get into a relationship with all of your past traumas, even one mistake by a man, if it's affecting you even a little bit, you will be triggered like oh my god. Like somebody has touched your wound because that wound was already there it's not this man's fault who is in your life right now so if you heal you will be much more likely to forgive in relationships i am not asking you to forgive the huge big things that affect you as a woman that affect you and hurt you deeply what i'm trying to say is so many times in life we make small things so big in relationships where it is not even your non negotiable then we go back to the same person and say sorry and just stop all this drama healing will make you stop all this drama you will be able to prioritize your non negotiables in life and you will be acting only on that these are my non negotiables i will not take any shit on these non negotiables rest everything we'll see as it comes you can just hope the man leads you properly and take the right decisions for the betterment of the relationship and the family you can just hope that right it is such a huge amount of trust that you have to have in a man it is very difficult for a man to handle an overly critical and overly unforgiving woman so when you have done your healing work plus if you are with the right man it becomes easier for you to forgive the man in your life right now because he does not fail as much as men in your past did and a healthy masculine man who knows how to handle relationships never takes your forgiveness for granted anyways now let's talk about what is the submission by a man when a man submits to his duty towards his woman and family when he takes the responsibility of being a leader a leader who is in the service of others a man who sacrifices his happiness his life for the safety and well-being of their woman and family he is the man who generally gets submits to so basically as i said before the submission is done by a man first if he doesn't even feel the need of a woman in his life right now he doesn't even feel settled enough to lead a family and a woman a man who doesn't even like a particular woman and still gets pressured into getting married to that woman he is going to feel burdened by her presence and not responsible for her that's why i always say let the man pursue you do not chase a man if he doesn't want to be in your presence if he doesn't want to lead you don't stand up and just start leading the relationship don't sit back and observe if he actually need you in his life see a man can actually love you get married to you have children with you have relationship with you but not necessarily that he is going to value you so i will say that again it goes back to a man he needs to take the decision that this is the woman i want to lead this is the woman i want to spend my life with he needs to decide first then woman take the decision if she wants to submit a man who cannot even lift his finger to do something for a woman if he is a man who has a hobby of swiping women left and right on dating apps and he enjoys it he cannot be the man who is going to lead you stop standing up and leading the relationship stop hence submission is not only done by women it starts with men first when i understood this concept of submission it made my dating life so easy i feel free like a bird <laughs> i am so excited to share my experience with you guys okay see so i come from a traumatic childhood okay it was very difficult for me to trust in a man when i realized that i healed and when that happened it became very easy my energy has changed around men okay now initially i used to be the woman who used to stand up and you know lead the relationship because um i was because i was so masculine and i was attracting all feminine men who does not even lift the finger to you know do anything for a woman so i was attracting all that kind of men when i realized that this is my problem okay so i need to heal within myself so when i did that i made this pledge with my inner child to keep her safe in any situation basically emotionally physically financially in every situation so i give myself all of that now so it happened very automatically in my life when i used to go out on dates i have taken a break from dating right now when i used to go out on dates i used to ask only two questions can i trust him can i submit to him because a woman will submit to a man who can provide her safety emotionally physically financially 
it was so easy to eliminate all the wrong men from my life one could give me emotional safety other could give me physical safety another one could give me financial safety but a woman need all of these three kind of safeties in one man people will tell you it's a lot to ask it's not for you to feel safe in your femininity to make your femininity flourish and to keep your man happy also if you are not able to submit to him if you keep questioning him criticize him uh, you know he is not going to be happy with you so basically it's not only for men or only for women it works for both the genders when a woman submits to a man how many relationships we have seen around us when a woman is nagging criticizing complaining she is not able to trust him in one or the other way that's why she's doing that she wants to submit to him that's why she's telling him what he needs to do but men doesn't like to be told what to do so this is the couple who's not able to submit to each other right so basically submission to each other in a relationship is very very important from both the genders all right so we have reached to the end of this video to sum it up let me give you brief of this video very quickly in this three four lines as a woman submission doesn't take the power away from you it actually makes you powerful it actually helps you live a protected and stress free life so when you get triggered when i say submission to a man you are probably coming from your past traumas it is difficult for you to trust men so i would suggest you need to heal heal to build an ability to choose the right leader for yourself and for your family and for a man it is a huge responsibility to lead a woman and a family so make sure as a man you do it for the woman who you actually want to do it for thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope you got something out of this video and this word submission doesn't trigger you anymore and before i sign off i would like to remind you that i have shifted my vlogs to my other channel i will mention the link of my vlog channel in the description below go ahead and check it out thank you so much once again i will see you in the next video bye